Good morning, Lobo High School. I'm Carson Kowalski. And I'm Gabby Godbout. Welcome to the Friday, March 8th edition of the Lions Roar. Before we get into the show, could you please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's start the show off with a few announcements. Juniors and seniors, prom tickets are on sale starting March 21st. They are $80 and will be sold during all three lunches. Anyone interested in being a representative for their class should pick up a nomination form for Mrs. Anderson in B-115. If you ran for an officer position but were not elected, you can still represent your class as a representative. Submit your paperwork by Monday, March 11th. Voting will take place Tuesday, March 12th during all three lunches. The athletic department is now accepting spring sports registrations through Family ID. To avoid a $25 late fee, please register by Sunday, March 10th. For more information, please visit LudlowAthletics.org. National Foreign Language Week wraps up today. Here with today's words of the day is Darren, Paige, and Jade. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name's Darren. I'm Paige. And I'm Jade. And we're doing uh, National Foreign Language Week. So every day this week, we've been saying a uh, word of the day in a different language. Uh, today, we're going to say two words because since we missed Monday, uh, we have one on deck. So uh, in sp the word of the day on Monday was supposed to be optimism. So in Spanish, it's optimismo. In French, it's optimismo. And in Portuguese, it's optimismo. And today for Friday, it is uh, courage. So in Spanish, it's coraje. In French, it's courage. In Portuguese, it's courage. And so this has been uh, Forage Language Week, and we have been uh, saying words of the day. So enjoy them. To wrap up National Foreign Language Week, we want to bring your attention to one small but significant detail. You may have noticed that each of the words we shared actually sounds very similar from language to language. Hopefully this shows you how easy it could be to learn another language, as languages share words in common. In addition, the words we are using this week are pulled from Life is Good superpowers. March is music in our school's month. In recognition of this, the LHS Tri-M Music Society is sponsoring the Name That Tune Challenge. Here with the first song is Joshua True on the ukulele. If you think that you know the song, submit your guess at lunch today and you might win a $10 Dunkin' gift card. Listen closely. To get to know the LHS teachers and administration a little better, we'd like to introduce a new quiz segment. We did a survey of all teachers, and each week we will go around the school asking our fellow students two questions with three possible answers. Let's see how everyone did this first week. What teacher worked in a cemetery digging graves in high school? A. Mr. Oliveira, B. Mr. Brillo, or C. Mrs. Andros? Mrs. Andros. Mrs. Andros. Andros. <laughs> Oliveira. <laughs> Brillo. Mr. O. Thank you. <laughs> Miss Andros, I'm going to go with C. Definitely Oliveira. Um, I'd say Oliveira too. Oliveira. A. Mr. Oliveira? Yeah. All right, thank you. What teacher was born in Montalegre, Portugal? A. Fernandes, B. Santos Pons, or C. Pierce? Uh, A. Senora Fernandes. Um, B. <laughs> Pierce. Pierce. <laughs> Thank you. Um, A. Pierce. What teacher worked in a cemetery in high school digging graves? A. Mr. Oliveira. B. Mr. Brillo. Or C. Mrs. Andros. 
I'm go with Brillo. 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 Thank you. Now let's see what's on the lunch menu for next week. On Monday, it's chicken parmesan on a roll, oven baked fries, sweet peas, and a strawberry cup. On Tuesday, we're having shepherd's pie with hamburg, potatoes, corn, and gravy, seasoned mushrooms, a dinner roll, and fresh fruit. On Wednesday, it's buffalo chicken macaroni and cheese, a dinner roll, spinach salad with dressing, and fresh fruit. On Thursday, we'll have roast pork dinner with gravy, mashed potatoes, butternut squash, a dinner roll, and chilled pears. On Friday, it's French bread pizza, three bean salad, craisins, and fresh fruit. Now for this weekend's weather forecast, let's go over to Carson Kowalski, who is filling in for autumn snow. Hi, it's Carson Kowalski with the Weather Show. Friday will be mostly cloudy with a high of 36 and a low of 17. Saturday will be sunny with a high of 42 and a low of 21. Sunday will be rain and snow with a high of 40 and a low of 34. Now back to you. The winter sports season has wrapped up, so Carson will be back next month with the spring sports updates. So that's it for this week's show. I'm Gabby Godbout. And I'm Carson Kowalski. Have a great week, and we'll see you all next week.